What is Dental Year? Dental Year is the leading marketing app in dentistry. Created by marketers, this resourceful platform helps your dental practice in a variety of ways. Content inspiration, real-time marketing ideas, tips on ROI with your current methods, fresh resources, and lots more. Hi, and welcome to Buzz, the podcast where you learn how to take your dental practice marketing to an entirely new level of success. I'm your host, Brad, and we appreciate you joining us. Uh, Before we jump into marketing news, I just want to briefly mention a really cool brand, or let me say restaurant, that I encountered uh, last weekend. We were down in the Long Beach area, part of LA, a little south of LA, and these people at the coffee shop were like, have you been in the chowder barge i'd never even heard of this place i guess it's the only floating restaurant in all of los angeles so from the description they were saying how it's this barge and this little marina and it's been around for decades and it used to be filmed in an um it was like in an old clark gable movie back in the day i don't know there's some some a fascinating story behind uh, la's oldest and only floating restaurants anyway um They told us about this place and it sounded incredible. So we ended up going there a few hours later and checking it out. And they got this world famous clam chowder soup. It's this really like decrepit little old place. I don't want to say decrepit. It's old school, right? But it's, it's, it's like unique and you pull up in this parking lot. It's in this tiny little old school Harbor. And to get there, you got to drive through it's a little weird of an area, right? You're, you're driving through some weird industrial parts of uh, the, the area in Long Beach. But the reason I'm mentioning this on a marketing show is the Charter Barge literally ha- doesn't have a website. But they have a story. And the word of mouth story these people shared with us was so cool and unique about being the only barge restaurant And it was that word of mouth, wow, like letting someone know about this cool restaurant. So with your practice, yes, we talk about websites and logos and videos all the time on the show. But if you focus on the story and you are the only one of this or you offer such a unique experience and you let your patients share your story for you, that will always be the best form of marketing. So I found it very inspiring and this place was epic, super cool. And um, I don't know. Next time you're in L.A., if you want to grab some clam chowder soup, let us know. All right. That's the marketing inspiration. Let's jump into the marketing news. Uh, We recently spoke about TikTok uh, rolling out um, a bunch of live feature or live video features. Uh, Recently, YouTube is playing catch up with the release of YouTube Shorts. According to YouTube, the shorts function now available in more than 100 countries and already attracting more than 15 billion daily views. Um, So basically, if you're already creating short form video content for your dental practice, this is basically another avenue to feature those videos on and get even more bang for your marketing buck. On a side note, speaking of YouTube, I mean, listen, it's been around for many, many years, uh, but it's really been a top platform for us recently in terms of client campaigns. So if you have some strong video content, already have a YouTube channel, um, we encourage you to start doing some YouTube advertising. All right, and other news. Um, an example how, of how valuable video content is, according to Forbes, 96% of consumers are said to have increased their video intake in the past year. Although some of that may have been part, um, obviously, because everyone's uh, at home more, but it's actually in our opinion that the up, uptick in video intake is basically here to stay. Um, so we don't want you to think this is daunting news because Forbes also points out that consumers actually like less intensive, more casual content. Um, it suggests authenticity and basically, this is good for your practice because you don't have to worry about hiring Spielberg to film stuff. 
more casual stuff filmed on mobile phone as preferred these days. Um, and so we've talked a lot about content ideas in the past for what you could film at the office. Just know that there's a lot of easy, inexpensive content opportunities that you could film easily using the tools you already have at your disposal, disposal, and that's mobile phones, your set, your dental office, and props, uh, you know, dental tools, technology, things like that. All right, so that's those are the big marketing news of the last week. Let's jump into the topic for today, which is seven video filming tips for your dental practice. And these are some fresh ones. We like to vary them up a bit. Um, so let's jump into it. We recommend you plan your content, right? You want to first make sure that you have a solid strategy in place for when you're filming. So perhaps during your morning huddles or weekly team meetings, you put up some ideas on the board, you, you, you talk topics, you strategize with patients you want to ask for testimonials, who's going to do a video for National Smile Month. So then you are you have a plan, right? You look at any big production, whether it's film or TV, they got pre-production. This is kind of your pre-production for your dental office content. So plan your content and you'll be much happier at the outcome. Uh, second tip, choose a good place to film. So you want to keep in mind that while you or your, your patients may be the focus of your videos, um, viewers will also be able to see and hear everything in the background. So make sure you are choosing a place to film carefully. We actually don't mind and kind of like noise or people in the background at the practice. It's more dynamic. It's fun. And some of the best uh, patient testimonials we've ever gotten, you could hear a drill in the background or other doctors laughing. We actually think it's great. Um, but you clearly want to choose a place that's, you know, sounds better um, and, and, and have more, more quality for your viewers. Um, so that's, that's really important. Uh, third tip, shoot in landscape mode. So we always say, hold the camera sideways horizontally. So you don't have the black borders on each side of the video. Um, unless you're specifically shooting for like Instagram and you can go vertical, vertical, but we recommend everything in landscape mode, uh, because if you're optimizing and uploading to YouTube, it's going to look much better. Okay. Um, tip four, make sure you have great lighting because lighting can make all the difference in the way your video looks to viewers. So if you have like one operatory that you're doing all these patient testimonials in, get a couple ring lights from Amazon or something to make sure it's well lit and have your own little set. I think that would really help out in terms of just production value because if it's too dark, it's going to look really bad online. So consider moving to another location with more natural light or bring in, like I said, some artificial lighting. Okay. Now there are some great videos out there on how to use natural lighting or like what lighting kits or setups you should get for like a quote unquote in office setting, uh, filming. So you could do that for your office as well. And it should be really inexpensive and easy to find some things on Amazon to help out with, with the lighting and production. Um, number five, choose a good video editing program. Um, I'd also say maybe just hire a great editor. You know, there's some great, uh, uh, obviously editing software out there, whether it's, you know, Wave Video, Camtasia or iMovie. There's other professional options like Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. But if you guys are doing this on your own, you're filming, which I highly encourage everyone listening to do at your practice. I don't know if you're going to want to start delegating editing tasks to front desk hygienist assistants. It's very time consuming, very difficult to do. I think it is. So you could film all the content, but just hire an editor. There's some incredibly talented people out there. Uh, perhaps your current marketing agency has a full time editor. Whatever it is, I think having an editor, a uh, great editor is so key. Uh, we have an amazing one on our team, PK. Um, so anyone working with us knows that. But um, for all practices really focusing on video content, I would just send all that footage to someone to edit for you and perhaps optimize it and upload it on your YouTube channel and, and help out with that type of stuff. Uh, number six tip is understand the rule of thirds. Okay, so the rule of thirds is one of the most basic principles of film composition, okay? So I want you to imagine that there are, is a three by three grid laid over the scene that you're filming, okay? Just picture this. 
And instead of placing your subject right in the middle of that, like the Brady Brunch uh, bu Bunch intro, you should place your subject along one of the lines of the grid, okay? The points where the lines intersect are particularly strong areas of focus. So you wanna situate important elements of the video there if you can. So that basically means if you are filming a video just of yourself, you don't wanna set your camera up so that your face is right in the middle. You wanna adjust your laptop or phone or camera or whatever device you're using to film that your so that your face sits in one of those intersecting lines along the lines of the grid, okay? And just so you know, many phones have a built-in grid feature that you could utilize. So for example, on an iPhone, you would go to your camera settings and turn on the toggle switch next to the grid. And number seven, promote your videos, right? Creating your videos are only half the battle. The other half is getting people to watch them. So as soon as you optimize and upload to YouTube, push it out there, share on email newsletters, boost and promote on social media. Uh, if you're getting, if you're going live on some of these videos, especially, you know, Facebook, YouTube, encourage people to like and comment. That'll trigger more alerts on the algorithm so more people tune in. But um, optimizing your video for SEO, especially on YouTube, is really important. You want to write a great description. You want to use keywords that are really strong and relevant to the content you've captured. And you want to tag your videos correctly so you, you can get more views. Okay, Use hashtags in your videos for YouTube as well. And lastly, make sure that you are interacting with your audience as much as possible. Right? If you're getting comments and questions on your videos, please take time to respond to them and make sure that you thank your viewers for taking the time to watch your videos. I mean, that is really important. People send comments, questions, recommendations. Great stuff. Please engage back. Uh, so that's it for the seven tips. I just want to wrap up here with a marketing fund fact. According to Wise Owl, more than three quarters of users have visited a company's website after watching one of their video ads on social media. So basically here, the message is clear. That video is just the beginning of the journey. Video ads on social media are extremely effective at reaching and engaging your potential patients. And those patients are going to continue their fact-finding mission after viewing your video by going to your dental practice's website, which is, of course, be linked and mentioned in all your videos. So by planning your content, using the filming and editing tips we've discussed, and also promoting your content across all your channels because promoting it is so key, well, you'll without question be a wizard of buzz. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we really appreciate, appreciate you listening to Buzz Dental with me, Brad. Um, please make sure to subscribe on Apple, Stitcher, Amazon, or wherever you listen to your podcast so you can continue to grow your practice to an entirely new level of success. And if you enjoy this show, kindly drop us a review and leave a rating. Uh, you can also visit me at buzz.dental where you can submit a topic for any upcoming shows and get in touch with, you, with me there. So thanks again for tuning in. Keep up the inspiring work and have a wonderful day. That's Flip Loot Smiles. If you're looking for more reach, engagement, and conversion with your dental practice marketing, download the Dental Year app today.